<laughs> you should learn how to play violin first, babe. I'd made about, I don't know, 10 different gourd banjos and, and other banjos out of salad bowls and things. And one of our good friends, uh, who's a accomplished violin player and teacher, asked me if I could make her a gourd violin. So, yeah, I just bought, a, I actually bought this, this neck from Hong Kong for a grand total of about $7. Uh, and cut the little scroll off and tried to make it a little bit less uh, formal looking. And then I bought an old, uh, yeah, I, I managed to get a, an old uh, three-quarter violin on, on, uh, on Marketplace for 10 bucks. And so I was able to get pegs and, uh, and the little hardware down here for uh, fine adjustments on the strings. And um, had to build this little piece here which goes right through the gourd and uh, yeah it creates the the distance to get to this actual uh, rather small gourd and I bought this little Peruvian carved gourd um, there's the name of the guy who carved it it's kind of a joint project with this particular fellow um, and um, yeah it's pretty cool uh, it's got uh, some sort of farm scenes on it, and there's some uh, farm workers there. And on this side, there's a, a series of, of turtles and some, uh, some llamas, I think. But really cool gourd, which I, I bought a skin from my guy in Wisconsin. Um, yeah, excellent. I buy most of my skins from this guy in Wisconsin. And, uh, Anyway, I had I, I made the the bridge myself. Actually, went through quite a few few uh, different versions of the bridge uh, to get the right hardness of wood. I believe it's a piece of of maple, and uh, tried to capture sort of the style of a of a regular violin bridge. And then, of course, the the instrument itself needs to be a certain length to get um, so that the uh, the place where you uh, you play it with the bow is actually not right right next to your face so i had to put this little strange little extension on it and uh tried to make it kind of carve it so it would be comfortable uh sort of under the chin and uh, i don't play violin but uh really pleased with how it sounds So I'm really looking forward to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna deliver this to this gal um, uh, tomorrow. And she's an accomplished violin player and I'm really, really excited to hear her um, make music on this. I'll make a recording of it. So you too, if you're interested, can, uh, can hear it. So that's it. That's the uh, first chord violin. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I have a theory the first violin was like this. <laughs> it was actually a good one. Yeah!